Russell Wilson is the big question mark. Rounds two and three of the 2012 NFL Draft are a wrap, and the NFC West had another exciting day. The St. Louis Rams addressed uh, some issues on both sides of the ball, although they had some uh, picks that would best be described as interesting. Uh, on the offensive side, they drafted uh, Brian Quick out of Appalachian State, a uh, wide receiver, and they also added running back Isaiah P. Their wide receiver core definitely took a hit when Danny Amendola went down last year, and so Quick will get a chance to get right in there and uh, catch some balls from Sam Bradford right away. It might have been a bit of a reach, but clearly the Rams were happy with him. They thought higher of him than Stephen Hill and guys like Ruben Randall, so they got their guy. Uh, as for Pete, he'll get a chance to spell Steven Jackson pretty much from day one, where uh, Jackson has taken a lot of wear over the years, and this could hopefully extend his shelf life. On the defensive side of the ball, they drafted cornerback Janoris Jenkins and cornerback Tremaine Johnson. Jenkins is a top 10 talent, but he's an undrafted knucklehead. Uh, on the one hand, he is a great cover cornerback. On the other hand, he's had issues with bar fights, marijuana, he's had some trouble with birth control. And the issue with all these have dropped him down into the second round. Uh, if he can keep it on the straight and narrow, though, they could have a great cornerback duo with him and Cortland Finnegan. Tremaine Johnson, on the other hand, will work uh, potentially as a safety for them, potentially rebuilding the entire secondary. The Seattle Seahawks had the next pair of picks uh, in, the, in the second and third round, and they drafted Utah State uh, inside linebacker Bobby Wagner. Although Wagner, there are some questions about whether he can be an every down linebacker, he brings speed and athleticism very similar to uh, Bruce Irvin. So you're looking at a guy that will at least bring some athleticism to the linebacker core. In the third round, they drafted quarterback Russell Wilson. They recently signed Matt Flynn to a three-year deal, and so at the very least, Wilson will get to uh, sit through at least a year or two and kind of learn the offense, which actually might be fairly similar to what Wisconsin ran. I don't really mention Tavares Jackson too much because I think most Seahawks fans hope he does not win a job over Russell Wilson. Next up are the San Francisco 49ers, who drafted Oregon running back LaMichael James in the second round. The 49ers are generally okay at the running back position with Frank Gore, Kendall Hunter, and Brandon Jacobs, but you really can't pass up a home run hitter like James. It seemed like every week for Oregon, he was just knocking, knocking, knocking plays out of the park. The 49ers had some struggles in terms of big plays last year, both in the passing and the running game, and James could change that up for them. We'll wrap things up with the Arizona Cardinals, who selected cornerback Jamel Fleming out of Oklahoma. The Cardinals do need cornerbacks, but I'm not sure he's the right guy. He tops out at maybe a two or a three, which they really could have done a lot more with this pick. But why take my word for it? Let's head over to the war room. Oh, war room. Fooch is crazy. All right, let's start with Arizona, Jamel Fleming. All righty, the Cardinals, they took Jamel Fleming. Of course, they didn't have a second round pick due to the Kevin Cobb trade. Uh, makes sense that they would take a cornerback. Their division rivals, the 49ers, took a wide receiver in AJ Jenkins. The Rams took Brian Quick. Not sure how great of a cornerback Jamel Fleming's gonna be, though, especially right away. Overall, I'd give it about a C plus. 49ers. I like LaMichael James. Uh, it's not a position of need, but you can never have too many uh, explosive playmakers. That is true. St. Louis has positions of needs. Did you give me a grade, by the way? I'm giving you a B. B, okay. St. Louis, the playmakers are abundant now, or more abundant now, now that they have Isaiah P, perhaps the running back of the future, spelling Steven Jackson. Brian Quick, small school guy, but they love him in St. Louis. Defensively, it's all about the secondary. Janoris Jenkins, all sorts of talent, all sorts of off-the-field non-talent. And then Tremaine Johnson's versatile and just adds a guy, a healthy body to that St. Louis team. I'm giving him a B plus. Uh, Seahawks uh, added Bobby Wagner. Pete Carroll loves speed. Even with the addition of Barrett Rood, that's a good addition. Russell Wilson is the big question mark. Yep. First round talent. If he was six foot two instead of 5'10", 5'11", he would have gone in the top five, top ten easily. Great and the third, third round, who knows? I don't know. Let's give him an incomplete. Give him an incomplete. Jimmy, come here. Get a shot of my cute little brother. There he is. Now I'm going to tell you, subscribe. We have all sorts of terrific NFL draft videos up and ready for you to watch and comment on down below. What are your thoughts? We need to know. You know what I need to know? Why are you so cute, Alex?